What's up, Ozones? Welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to another Gravity Falls reaction. Today, I am dressed as the author of the journals. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I wore this, basically this outfit, in a FNAF video recently, and people were commenting saying, I looked like a, a certain Gravity Falls character, and I now know exactly which character you are talking about. <laughs> you are talking about Sam's brother, the author of the journals, who has just come through the portal in Gravity Falls, and so I decided to dress up as him today um, to watch what is apparently a, a really fun and I'm sure joyful episode, uh, which is episode number 12, and I am so excited for this. I am so, so excited for this. If you haven't seen, I have recently done uh, a, an analysis video, uh, which is like my my last theory video for Gravity Falls as a, a, a series. And I think that it is, it's a good watch because it kind of provides you with a lot of my thoughts on a lot of the different characters. And we also go through a lot of the final codes that we missed and stuff like that. So that is a very good watch. We're of course going to be doing a season two law hunt at the end of these reactions because we're actually on the home stretch right now. Uh, it seems like we're going to get a lot of big reveals uh, in these next few episodes. So make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss the next future episodes. And of course, become a member today for only $1 a month in order to see my full length reactions to this. Now, what I will say is the only thing I know about this episode, well, I know two things about this episode. I know that it's a very big episode in terms of backstory based on what people have been saying to me. And I know that it's 29 minutes long. Now for reference, the episodes are usually like 21 or 22 minutes long. I, I guess they were like airing on the Disney channel. And so they had to be like, I guess less than half an hour or something to fit in ad breaks and stuff like that. However, this episode is 29 minutes long, so it's going to be a very long one, and it's going to, I'm sure, be packed full of lovely backstory and lore, which is going to be so joyful to watch. Um, <laughs> so, I think without further ado, let's get into this. Um, I think this might just be a one episode reaction video for you guys, so strap yourselves in. Let's see what the backstory of Stan, Grunkle Stan, and I guess Stan Pines. Let, let's let's figure out what this backstory is. Let's get straight in. Man, where where are they gonna pick up from? Like it's. Oh, we're just at the beach. <laughs> Mysterious boarded up cave. It might be filled with wasps. Okay, so it's clear which one's which, right? I've got the other thing. What is it called? Oh right, punching. <laughs> Splinters. Whoa. Like Mabel, like Mabel said. I said there a parallel of Mabel and Dipper. Pie, 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 pie. Stan Lee and Stanford. Oh, okay. So I'll be real with you guys. I've heard the name Ford going around and I don't think I was supposed to be hearing about a Ford, but I think that makes more sense now we've heard Stan Lee and Stan Fudd. So, huh. So when they said Stan Pines was dead, I think they were referencing Stan Fudd Pines, but maybe, but maybe Grunkle Stan is actually Stan Lee Pines, huh. The image changed! The image changed! The author of the journals! Okay, this is really interesting. Now, believe it or not, a huge portion of my time these days goes into these Gravity Falls videos. Not only do I react to the episodes, but I also dig into them, and that is not even accounting for all of the editing and rendering and uploading that I also have to do. And for someone like me who works in an office environment, sitting down at a desk all day long is actually quite tiring and boring. That's why today I want to show you my latest addition to my room, a beautiful standing desk, thanks to the sponsor of today's video, FlexiSpot. After only a week of using this thing, 
I've already seen the benefits. My productivity has been at an all-time high and I've really felt like I've been keeping a better posture lately. But believe it or not, there are hundreds of health benefits to using a standing desk over a sitting desk. And if you're planning on modernizing your office space, this is the one to get. Just look at the huge height range here. Did you hear how quiet that was? You probably didn't because it was so quiet. Flexispot also do a bunch of other really cool modern office equipment and for the spooky month of October they are giving you a huge discount of up to 67% off on selected products. That is a lot. The October autumn sale also offers a direct discount of £140 on the E7 model which equates to a savings of up to 33%. Check out the link in the description below to find your next favorite piece of office equipment today. And thank you so much to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. After all these long years of waiting, you're actually here! 30 years. Brother! Oh, ow! What the heck was that for? This was an insanely risky move, restarting the portal. Didn't you read my warnings? Is that J. Jonah Jameson? <laughs> JK Simmons. Don't expect me to go easy on you just because you're family. What happened 30 years ago, guys? Quick question. <laughs> Mabel. What the heck is going on here? Stan, you didn't tell me there were children down here. And some sort of large, hairless gopher. <laughs> <laughs> I have a niece and nephew. Oh. Do kids still say greetings? I haven't been in this dimension for a really long time. It is a different dimension then. It's a full finger friendlier than normal. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bring my sixth finger, sorry. Does anyone else know about this portal? No, just us. Also, maybe the entire US government. Yeah. <laughs> going anywhere till we find Stan Pines and those kids. Oh, they're trapped down here. Of course they are. Yes, I have some questions about all this myself, Stanley. Stanley? But your name is Stanford. Wait, you took my name? What have you been doing all these years? <laughs> I'm gonna take these glasses off. Dad was a strict man, tough as a cinder block, and not easily impressed. I'm not impressed. Mom was a pathological <laughs> liar, which served her well as a phone psychic. That'll be 99 cents an hour. No, you're overpriced. Now I see where he gets it from. <laughs> Six fingers on each hand. Might have explained his obsession with sci-fi mystery weirdness. Oh, there's some of the drawings of the journals. The mask. I dub thee the Stano War. Ow. Oh, it's the Stano War from Gobblewonka. Hey, hmm. chin up, buddy. Look, one of these days, you and me are going to sail away from this dumb town. That's the scene from Blendin'. I'm saying your son Stanford is a genius. All his teachers are going bananas over his science fair experiments. Okay. Have you ever heard of West Coast Tech? Best college in the country. Oh, so they're going to be split apart. Joke's on them if they think you want to go to some stuffy college on the other side of the country. Once we get the Stan Award complete, it's going to be beaches, babes, and international treasure hunting for us. Look, Stan, I can't pass up a chance like this. Oh. Uh, and just like... Mabel, Stanley doesn't want to grow up. This is all your fault, you dumb machine! Oh no, oh no, no, what did I do? Oh no, so he's messed up his chances, is he? Good as new, probably. The football 1000 is there by Stanley! That's so funny. But it was stable yesterday. A uh, fuse must have blown or something. Did he almost... Discover perpetual motion. I don't think you're West Coast tech material. No, wait, don't go. I worked so hard. Ugh. Oh, I see. One paddle, 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 two paddle, paddle. <laughs> two paddle, paddle. Cost our family potential millions. And until you make us a fortune, you're not welcome in this household. What? Stanford, tell him he's being crazy. I six? Fine, I can make it on my own. Sorry I'm not saying much, this is just really 
upsetting. You two little broken teacups need to hug it out. Hug it out. Hug trains coming to the station. Oh, come on, guys. It was 30 years ago. Kid, will you knock that off? I'm trying to tell my life story here. I had decided I... <laughs> For God's sake. Are you sick of this always happening to you? Then you need the shit <laughs> of the future. <laughs> with the same material. Oh, my God. The cut totally. is so funny. It's a total sham. It's a total sham. <laughs> he also had the, st the stand vac as well. Wait, what about you? Did you end up going to your dream school? Not exactly. All right, I know backups more wasn't anyone's first choice, but what we lack in prestige, we make up for in mostly bug-free dorms. <laughs> oh. In a place like that, I had to work twice as hard. Luckily, that's what I do best. I went from undergrad to PhD. Quantum physics, okay. We've seen some quantum physics in the series. My whole life I'd been teased for my six fingers. But that got me thinking about anomalies. Things that were odd, unusual. Okay. I like that. That's the cow from the shorts. Higher concentration of these things than anywhere else. A small lumber town in Roadkill County, Oregon. Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls, yeah. I set to work using my grant money to investigate the strange... It was his! I knew it! I knew it. Bingo. I what? To investigate at once. I knew I'd have to record my findings. I told you guys. I told you guys. The mystery shack is Stanford's. And Stanley took over it. Ah, the journals. <laughs> oh, Dipper. He's fangirling. The more I looked. Oh, we've seen them before. I bats, yeah. And I'm assuming his business is booming because the Mystery Shack... No way! The Shapeshifter! Floating Cliffs. Shmebulok! Oh my god! <laughs> this is so cool. I decided to call up my old college buddy, Middleford McGucket, a young but brilliant mechanic. Yes, this makes sense. This makes sense. No, Fiddleford, my beloved. Is that the point where he made the Blind Eye Society? What did you see? He saw things he didn't want to see. Fear the beast with just one eye. Fiddleford, get a hold of yourself. Oh. Oh, this is the snow scene. The brother. Oh my god. Who is it? Have you come to steal my eyes? Well, I can always count on you for a warm welcome. <laughs> okay. I created it to unlock the mysteries of the universe. Oh, well, I know what's going to happen. He's accidentally going to fall in it. And he's going to break the portal so that he can't come back. And you are the only person I can trust to take it. That's how he got the first journal. Gonna have to try harder than that. You left me behind. Oh journal. no. Again, I know exactly what's going to happen. Stanford is going to fall through the portal. Ah! Stanley. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Are you all that's his tattoo! Oh my god! Oh my god! Stanley! Stanley, help me! Oh no, what do I do? Stanley! Stanley! Do something! Stanley! And the portal's gone. Stanford? Stanford, come back! I didn't mean it! Oh my god! Ah, come on! I lost him. 
I didn't know if he was dead or alive in some distant galaxy, but I knew his journal must have the answer to getting him back somehow. Yeah, so you had to find the other two journals. Oh, it all makes perfect sense. It's so good. The storytelling, top notch. I tried for weeks to turn that dumb machine back on. But without the other two journals, it was Nothing. Yeah. Dusk to dawn when it was open. <laughs> That's great. And the teens were outside with their funky music. No stranger. That must be the mysterious science guy that lived in the woods. Oh. Everyone thinks he is Stan Pines. Do you ever give tours? No, really, I... Do you ever give tours? As I say, he made it into a business, but it wasn't very good. Sir, what did you say your name was, you man of mystery? Oh, Stan, Stan Pines. Ford. Oh. Oh. That was your, that was your issue there. Whatever. Behold, the, um, nerdy science box. Ah, I was right. My prediction video was actually right. That's how I... Oh my god. <laughs> I told you, he does random things to make the business the business. The agents are coming for us. What do we do? Oh, man. I was so spellbound by your dramatic tale, I forgot all about those dudes. Wait, forget. That's it. I think I know a way we might be able to defeat those agents. Oh! <laughs> I don't know how you got a hold of it, but this is perfect. That's insane. I've been sent with the latest intel from Washington. According to this very real report, the power surges in Gravity Falls were actually due to radiation from an unreported meteor shower. A total embarrassment for your whole department. Luckily, I'm here to take this mess off your hands. But I'll need all of your floppy disks and, uh, eight tracks. <laughs> J.K. Simmons is perfect for this. I'll just let myself out. <laughs> Oh. I've got something amazing to tell you. Close the hours. <laughs> <laughs> Dipper, you don't think we'll turn out like Stan and Ford, do you? What do you mean? I mean, they used to be best friends, but then they got all stupid. Oh, Mabel. Promise me you won't get stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Good night, stupid. <laughs> Good night, stupid. But it is like a parallel. Oh, Mabel. So it turns out that the second stand, the stand that we know, was actually Stanley, but the first stand was Stanford, but we didn't know until that Stanford came out of the portal, which was built by Stanford, but then Stanley pretending to be Stanford, he did the portal because he's <laughs> not Stanford. Seuss, it's three in the morning. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Oh my god. Seuss. Seuss in that phone call sounded like me in that last theory video. <laughs> Stan, Stanley, Stanley, Stan, 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 Gongu, Stan, Stan. Oh my god. Okay, that was, that was such a good episode. That has tied everything together. And that, that, that is the reason I love Gravity Falls for like those sorts of episodes. That was insane. I loved it. I, I, I just, oh my god. So um, it, it it seems like a common theme, like in each of these episodes. I'm just gonna keep keep kind of tearing up a little bit. Uh, I didn't cry as much with that one, but um, that one, it was still really sad. It was really tragic, and the the worst part. I don't know how. But we managed to get a lot of that story from the foreshadowing and stuff. It kind of goes to show, like, I, I know a lot of people have been saying in my comments that, um, like, other reaction channels that have reacted to Gravity Falls, they haven't guessed that there's, an, uh, uh, that Stan has a brother and stuff. And, like, okay, yes. But the reason for that is because I have been 
analyzing everything. I have been looking into each of the secret codes. I have been looking for secrets. I've done analysis videos for literally every episode up to this point. So I know the series pretty much inside and out up to this point, right? And so knowing that, it, it's kind of clear to see how I can kind of come to those sorts of conclusions. And I think we were right. And I'm glad that we were right because it, it is a story that makes logical sense. The fact that it was actually Ford's house, the Mystery Shack, and then it was turned into the Mystery Shack as like a business by Stan Lee. I, I'm going to have to get used to these names now, by the way. Um, so I guess we can still call Grunkle Stan Stan, but then we'll have to call his brother Ford. Um, so cool. Okay, so Stan Lee and Ford. So, so yeah, where is the rest of the series going? It's clear because of that warning at the end of the episode there that Ford is not going to stay away from the children. And I think that Stan and Ford are probably going to get into arguments. Um, but I hope that by the end of the series, it all comes together and they're all a happy family. Um, I would assume that that's how it ends, at least. Um, otherwise, it won't be that satisfying. But man, that was such a good episode. And I have a lot of things to think about from now. Um I think, to be honest, a lot of my good ideas come from when I'm like walking along the road or like uh, in the shower. Um, so I, I don't think I'm going to be able to voice a lot of my thoughts right now. Um, but like in, in the next reaction video, I'm sure I'll be I'll be having a lot to say about um, this episode because this was wild. Again, it was 29 minutes long and I see why now because there was a lot to fit in there. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of information at once, but it all makes so much sense. It was like a betrayal story, but who's in the right and who's in the wrong? I genuinely cannot really tell. Like, I don't think it is that black and white. I think that they're both, they both kind of need to just, it's hard, it's, it's hard. O obviously Stan was in the wrong originally for messing with the science thing so that he could um, sabotage it and so that they could stay young forever or whatever. But um, I think I think that the reaction to that was a bit extreme. And obviously the way that they've been brought up and, and Stan's parents are like, it's not great. Um, and then one thing that I do want to talk about right now is I'm really feeling good about this whole idea that Stan and Ford are essentially parallels of Dipper and Mabel. You have Ford, who's a power level of Dipper because they're both really, like they're the smart twin and they're very sciencey and obviously the mystery aspect of it and, and the, the journals and stuff like that, they're really connected. And then you have Stan Lee, who uh, in that episode, what did he say that was like very mabel -y? Oh, it was at the beginning when he was like, he, he was punching through the wood and he was like, here, here, splinters. I'm pretty sure that Mabel in the first ever episode said that. Um, that was one of the first things that Mabel said, I think. Uh, Look at all the splinters I've got or something like that. Um, so it's really cool with that aspect. I, I really like that Stanford as well has that backstory of like, um, he, he saw himself as like an odd... Um, he, he, he saw the fact that he had six fingers as like a, 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 a myst, mystical thing. Um, and so he, he went out to explore other mystical things and that it was very dense. Gravity Falls was very dense with all these cryptids and stuff. So that's where he went and it all makes so much sense. Obviously in the Time Traveler's Pig episode, we saw Stanford open the door when it was snowy and that's kind of like a, that's a foreshadowing. Oh my gosh, there is so much to talk about. I think I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, Dipper and Mabel, yeah, they're, they're definitely parallels of Stan and Stan, the two Stans. This episode was called The Tale of Two Stans. Um, so, yeah, it's, I love, I love this. I really love this. Every single episode of Gravity Falls uh, in season two has made me think, this show is better than I first thought. Like literally every episode after, um, because like after watching last episode, I was like, 
this show is the greatest show I've ever seen. After watching this episode, it, it's just getting better. And I don't know how it's doing that because it was so good in season one anyway. So how, how is it getting better? Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see what's to come with the rest of the series. Let's solve the codes for today. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to take a screenshot of this, of course, and we're going to add it to what we already have in Photoshop. So here we go. Just a continuation there. So this is on the left side and it seems to be here. Oh, yes, that is definitely right. That's definitely correct right there. Uh, there seems to be a little gap that I need to fix at some point but that's definitely correct correct right there and i i think i can see that that is making stanford and this is making grunkle stan um that makes a lot of sense to me i think that makes a lot of sense also yeah so we've got the order completely correct here uh because this goes on top here and you can see that down here, there is the continuation of whatever this thing is. Oh my gosh. We are solving it, guys. We're doing it. We are doing it. This is so cool. Um, so yeah, it. I, I think I know where this is going and it's, it's so cool. It is ridiculously, insanely cool. Wow. Okay. So now let's have a look at the the number codes. Oh my gosh, there are so many. Let's have a look at the numbers on this. Um, okay, so this one does seem to be a very, very long one. It actually goes onto two lines in my Excel. So I think we're probably gonna have to do this uh, a, di a bit differently to usual, but let's have a look and see if it actually does work here. Um, Paste values only. Okay, so... Wait, oh, okay, it, it does work. Um, does it go all the way down? I think it does. Okay, let's, let's have a look at least. A stubborn, tough, New Jersey native, Phil Brick wasn't too creative. Oh, wait, uh, okay, wait, wait. Uh, uh, <laughs> a stubborn, tough New Jersey native, Philbrick wasn't too creative. Having win, having wins was not was having wins was not his plan. Was not his plan. Sorry, having wins was not his plan. So he just shrugged and named both stan <laughs> okay so that's the story of uh stan's and stan's father naming stan and stan <laughs> a stubborn tough new jersey native um i don't know what this means philbrick was not too creative oh his name is philbrick i guess i, I might have got that wrong but philbrick was not too creative he was uh, having having twins was not his plan. Oh, having twins was not his plan. So he just named, he, sh he just shrugged and named both Stan. Okay, that makes so much sense. That's so funny. I love that. I love that code. That's really funny. Okay, so we also, I think, probably have a visionaire that we're going to have to do. And seeing as we don't have any analysis videos, I am going to solve this today. Um, I'm going to solve them as they come and go. We're going to have a quick look for the key. And if we can't find it in, say, 20 minutes, then I'm going to look it up and then we'll solve it. OK, so let's have a look. Oh, and anything else that I find while doing this, I'll point out because because again, we're not, we're not gonna be doing analysis videos or at least we're not going to have a look again through these videos or episodes until we do the season two lore hunt. So there you go. Um, Blendin was here. 
the first thing we see was Blendin was here. That's so funny. Blendin was here. Are you kidding me? R and S. What could R and S stand for? Robbie and... <laughs> Robbie and... Uh, Stan? I don't know. Uh, vultures... Rock... Is my brightness... Okay, my brightness isn't all the way up. Uh, vultures do not enter... I don't know. Um, <laughs> area closed. Okay, this is this is sick. Uh, yeah, I love this moment where he's like, ah, splinters. Yeah. Notice the triangle as well. It's almost like that's a reference to the portal, an upside down triangle uh, with a light in the middle, a circular light. So um, I, I know I'm I know it, it's going to look like I'm just kind of um, coming up with random parallels, but I genuinely think these are all put here as like foreshadowing and uh, kind of thematic parallels to just show uh, things um, were the same back then as they are now almost. Um, and then let's have a look at this new intro screen because all of this is the same. This is obviously a reference to that one shot uh, with, the, with the portal in the last episode. And then here we get a new photo which is just really, it's, it's really random that we get this new photo. What is this? Oh, that's his ear. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is new photo of, of, what's his name? Ford, uh, with the journal. So that's great. Okay, cool. If the key's anywhere, and by the way, as a 29 minute episode, the key is going to be impossible to find. I don't think I'm going to find it, but I, I feel like it's going to be somewhere here. You know what I mean? Um, it's going to be somewhere with like a lot of words everywhere and it's just gonna be like the tiles of the building or something like that. $2 submarine, what? That makes no sense. I love this. Pines pawns, jewelry watches, no refunds. Gold watches for old men. <laughs> uh, we got Italy knuckle sandwiches. We got a pit, uh, pit truck there. Uh, atomic age brings mutant corn or something. I don't know. Oh, giant corn. Okay, glass shard gazette. So I guess that was the. Uh... Oh, glass shard. That's where they. That's where they reside, right? In New Jersey. Okay, cool. Uh, explore. So is so New Jersey's on the east coast, is it? Uh, it looks to be. Yeah, yeah. So New Jersey is over here. Oregon is over here, I think. Um, and Gravity Falls is like somewhere in the middle. So the fact that they've gone for all the way over here from where they were born and where they grew up with the beaches, they've come all the way over here to the other end of the US. So that's, I, I love that they do little details like that. Another UFO here. I wonder if we're, gonna, we're ever going to see a UFO or if, if it's just like a mystery shack thing. At this point, I think it's just a mystery shack thing because it's what Stan is kind of promoting or whatever. Oh my freaking God. Okay. So... Abnormality, cool. So these are symbols that we've seen in the journal, in the journals. This seems to be Bigfoot. This seems to be like uh, the Loch Ness Monster or the Gobblewonka. Um, giant robot, UFO. So lots of like conspiracies and cryptids and stuff like that. Mysterious monsters. Behind all of that is some really complex math. And I think this is where I admit defeat on like the math of this series because my God, I don't know what any of this means. We've got six mu V equals eight pi G. It's cool that that rhymes at least. A lot of golden ratios here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to figure out what this is. Um, I guess maybe in our season two lore hunt video, we can, we can do some research into that, see if anything pops up. Um, here we have the the mask from episode number one. That's cool. Um, here we have the original pit cola. Uh, you can't see it. Original pit cola in the top right, I assume. Like a looks like a bottle of Coke. I wonder if there is actually cocaine in it, just like Coke used to have. Um, I I love this this picture as well. Stanley and Stanford, and one of them has six fingers. That's really sweet as well 
Um, oh, I found it. I found it. Yes, I found a key. Oh, I found a key. Okay, so there it is. So it's right there. So the key is right there. And then S-I-X-E-R, Sixer. So I think the, the key is Sixer. So let's have a look if that is it. Bro, that is the first key I've found in so long by myself. Um, <laughs> it's actually been a while since I've I've found a key, but I'm really glad that I found that one. Uh, I didn't just skip over it. But that that's it just goes to show like these sorts of episodes where there's like some really deep lore and stuff like it's more interesting to go through and try and find the key while you're looking for other things. Uh, so I really like that. I really like that. So the key is supposedly sixer. And then let me type all of this out. I know that at this point I could use Google Lens, but um, I don't know. I, I, I just kind of want it to be my mission to kind of like make all the systems myself. And I don't know. I just, I feel a certain way about like, I feel like I should probably be making all this myself. I should be making the system to solve the Visionaire cipher, which I have done. If I want to... <laughs> take a picture and recognize the letters. I, I feel like I should build a system to do that. Obviously, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. But uh, that would have been that that that's I would rather do that than kind of just use Google Lens and take the letters. But I, I don't know. It, obviously, it's not like cheating or anything. But um, to me, I just I, I prefer doing everything myself. So there you go. So we have back up some more back backups. Backups more university. You you tried. Okay, wait. Back. Backups more. Backups more university. You tried. Back. Ups more. Yeah, it's backups more. Backups more university. Is it um? Is that the name of the university? Uh, I guess we'll find out, um, but that's not a very satisfying code at the end. <laughs> what the hell, man? What the hell? I'm supposed to have cool codes with cool law. <laughs> uh, Stano War, I love that. I love that the Stano War is here from episode two, the Legend of the Gobblewonka. This is obviously what we saw with Blendin. Okay. And then I saw some math here as well. Obviously, it's this looks less complex. Uh, I think it's just some, some algebra, some simple algebra. Okay. And then, yeah, so that, that, that scene, I mean, a lot of these scenes are kind of showing, you know, Stanford is, is the dipper here. He is the smart one. And Stan Lee is, is the Mabel. She, instead of writing math equations, she is drawing pictures. Um, so that that makes a lot of sense to kind of draw that parallel. And I'm so glad that I got that really early. It's kind of crazy, right? A lot of these, um, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying this series as well because a lot of the future episodes are making references back to previous episodes. So in the Bottomless Pit episode, we had the Footbot. I don't know if it was the 1000, but obviously this is a callback to that. Uh, and it did actually exist, mad. Uh, yeah. And then here, I think, so perpetual motion is motion between two bodies, I think. Let me look up what it actually is. Uh, perpetual motion, the action of a device that once set in motion would continue in motion forever with no additional energy required to maintain it. Oh, I see. Huh. Okay. Um, but I think that... Because I look up here, and I think this is Newton's equation, gravitational equation. Um, the force of gravity equals um, big G is like the gravitational pull of a body or something. N1 and N M1, I think, are the are distances between something. And then R squared at the bottom is radius of the body or something. I let me look up f equals g n m over r squared. 
Yeah, so gravitational force equals G, mass of prime times mass of primary times mass of secondary. Oh, times the masses. Oh, of course, yes. Uh, all over the orbital radius squared. So that is, if you have two bodies, what's the gravitational, what's the, what's the net gravitational force, I think? Um, because one, one might have a radius that is half the other radius. So then what, how does, how does the one with the smaller radius react to the gravitational force of the other? Yeah, it's, it's, I, uh, Isaac Newton's universal law of gravitation is what that is. So that's, that's quite cool. Um, that's why I thought this was like, um, I, that's why I thought perpetual motion might be like two, if you have two bodies, what, what's the forces, um, and the motion between them, but uh, it's not that, but it's, I'm sure it's related because yes, how, how, yeah, okay. So he's, he has created at his age, a perpetual motion machine, something that will essentially be moving forever. And so Stan has, <laughs> has busted it and made it stop. Um, so that's, not great, of course, for a perpetual motion machine. Um, yeah, see, he, he takes off the cover and it's just, it's not in perpetual motion at all. It's just completely stationary. Oof. Big, big oof. Um, do we know any of these names? No. Diane Benetant. Paul Mandel. Wait a second. Never mind. I have no idea who any of that is. Okay. I thought I recognized the name Paul Mandel as, um, uh, no, I guess that would be like Candela. I don't know. I, I, I thought that was a famous scientist, but maybe not. Yeah. So here we go. Back up some more university. There you go. So this is the, the really, really bad university where it's like, they don't have much academic, um, uh, yeah, in terms of academics, they're not the greatest, but you don't have bugs in your rooms or whatever. So there you go. Um, and then here again, this math is way out of my depth. It's what it might not be out of my depth. It's just, I, don't, I wouldn't know where to start with it. And also there is no start of it really. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of pies and sigmas and man, that's, oh wait, that's a, um, ah, oh, frick. Is that the gamma function? Is that the gamma function? The gamma function, is it not? Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, I can't believe I'm right about that. Look at this. That's, so that's that symbol right there. So they're using the gamma function. Um, I have no idea what that's for. <laughs> um, but that's, that's interesting. Um, I just like testing my knowledge on that sort of thing because I haven't actually done proper math in like five years. So, um, so yeah, this, this is really cool. Um, creatures with phenomenal. Is that, a, I think we've seen that in the journal before. Crop circles. That's interesting. Again, to do with aliens and like, um, astrology and stuff like that. And then this is one of the animals that we actually saw. I think it was in the Seuss shorts. Um, when I reacted to that, uh, we saw the cow. So there you go. And then, yeah, this is of course building the building of the mystery shack, which wasn't the mystery shack at the time. It was literally just St Stanford's house. Uh, this is the eye bats that we've actually seen before. <laughs> the freaking shape shifter is already here. Crazy. And then Schmebulok, love Schmebulok. I love how that's an ongoing joke in this entire series. Um, what do we have here? We have a lot of cool things. So, so these are all like relics and artifacts and stuff from when Stanford was actually around and this was actually stuff that he was researching. That is, that's terrifying right there. That's awful. Oh my gosh. These pictures on the wall. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, you can see them now. Um, this is from the intro. This is one of the pictures in the intro. This is definitely from the intro, Bigfoot. This is, th that's from the intro as well, the UFO sighting. I don't know if the lake monster is, uh, but that mushroom definitely isn't. And then we have Gravity Falls, the cliffs there. We have, I think that's Shmebulok still. 
in there. The prism, the prism that we've seen on the desk of the author's um, bench. Obviously, one thing that we ha we haven't mentioned in a while is is in carpet DM. We have the carpet, and it said experiment number seventy eight. I think it was. Uh, and then we had the prism in that room. It was like a secret room in the mystery shack. So that also could have been uh, Ford's room. But like, the ex what are the experiments for? What was the bunker for that we saw in episode two of this season? There's still a lot of questions that we we want to know. And like, how does Bill Cipher fit into all of this? Because we haven't heard Ford talk about Bill Cipher at all. Um, but we did hear Fiddleford talk a little bit about Bill Cipher. Speak of the devil. Uh, because I think he, he had his head in the portal and he said, Oh, what night monster? <laughs> or something like that. Um, yeah, so... Oh, it, it's crazy to see how this all fits together. And of course, after this, Fiddleford would go ahead to make the, the Society of the Blind Eye and he would just keep seeing things in Gravity Falls and he would keep going more and more insane. And it is really cool how how the stories um, are like in line. It, it it just makes a lot of sense with the whole story. The past thirty years have what what well, the past thirty years have kind of done to people. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. So this pyramid is really interesting on this screen right here because it it kind of reminds me of when we were initially talking about those matrices. Can you remember all that time ago when we were talking about freaking matrices? That felt like eons ago. But when we were talking about those matrices, we were talking about how it was a 2D to 3D projection of Bill Cipher. So the fact that there's a three-dimensional pyramid here and it's, uh, is it spinning around? I don't know. No, it's, I don't think it is. But the fact that there's a three-dimensional pyramid here is kind of telling me like three-dimensional triangle is a pyramid. Bill Cipher is a pyramid. Like it, it's it's almost like Bill Cipher is trying to come into fruition, come into our three dimensional world, uh, and that was also something that we saw with Giffany in a way. So I like that that theme is still kind of coming up a little bit. Um, this is interesting. Is this? Is this like what? First of all, what is this? What on earth is this? <laughs> I don't know, but really interesting that that. That is Stan's tattoo. That is Stan's tattoo. That's what he's been hiding from people. So we finally found out what Stan's tattoo is. And also, let's have a look at Dreamscapers. Here, quite early on in Dreamscapers, we see some symbols that are related to Stanley. Stan Pines. I know that name or whatever. Uh, is this? No, this is where he disappears, isn't it? No, yeah. Um, here we go. Yeah, here, here's the scene. Stan Pines, I know that name. Uh, that is definitely it. Oh, look at it. That's perfect. So we finally figured out what that is. So, I, I mean, I don't know why. I don't. I still don't know what the symbol really is, and I don't know why it's right there. But that is definitely a replica of that. So that's foreshadowing. So maybe this is a symbol with more meaning, but that is why it's tattooed on Grunkle Stan because of this event. Wow. So things like the tattoo have so much backstory, even, even though it's such a small detail, it just has so much backstory to it. That's why I love this show. Um, uh, Stan has... Stan has a book called Theoretical Physics Made Stupid. Um, that's really funny. And Code Breaking, of course. Great. So he's been doing some research into cryptography, just like I have. Wormholes and stuff like that. It all makes so much sense. I love how they're in the convenience store from the Inconveniencing episode. I love that Lucy, Lazy Susan is here with cat earrings. And this is the way that she loses sight in one of her eyes. Um... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Profit forecast from now to soon. Stan Pine's dead. Here we go again. Um, that's, I, I still have a question about that actually. I'm still wondering about like the Stan Pine's is dead. 
because people knew that Stan Pines, people knew Stan Pines as Stan Pines in the Mystery Shack. Uh, it, I, I don't know, it's weird. But there you go. So I think that that is pretty much everything that we saw in that episode. Man, what a wild ride. I cannot wait to continue the rest of this series. I think next time we're going to do three episodes uh, and then I think it might be uh, two episodes and then three or four episodes. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do the rest of the series, but uh, I am having guidance with it. So uh, stay tuned. I have got it all sorted. Uh, next video that you're going to see is going to be a reaction of at least episode number 13 and 14 <laughs> uh, and maybe 15. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Give it a big fat like and become a member today if you want to see my full reactions to things. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.